Hey folks, welcome Wednesday the 12th of January 2022. Let's get over and look at these markets. We have US CPI coming out today, half one. Uh, you know, we saw a really nice double dip here the last two days on the Dow, down to the 50 EMA on uh, Monday. Uh, Monday coming down here, flushed out quite heavily, half five, the bid came in and we went back up to meet on trend and, and stay buoyant on the rest of that session. Uh, but yesterday again down to the 50 EMA confident with the 35 687s which was the high of day 26th of October last year uh, so really nice confluence of, of, of things going on down at this area here uh, of course on the Dow so uh, with CPI uh, set to come out today half one really you know I'd be looking at uh, look, 7% is the, is the projected figure. If we come out on a miss, this is great for the economies because we're going to have dissipation of inflation, uh, potential that inflation is actually transitory. Uh, just when, just when uh, Jerome gives up the ghost on that line, um, you know, that will be, say we come in 6.8% in line with the prior that's going to be pretty bullish for these markets, right? It means inflation is, 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 is petering out potentially, right? One reading doesn't make a, doesn't make a, a fact really um, on the markets, but uh, you know, it'll mean a dissipation of the, of, the, of the inflation while wages are increasing, right? You're seeing that happening. Lower wage, lower wage workers are getting a, seeing an increase in, in, their, in their pay packet, right? To meet with uh, tracking inflation. So it's going to be incredibly uh, buoyant for these equities markets. I think, look, it's quite quite a busy chart here, right, on this news. Um, I'll just take it off. We've got the moving averages in here. I think it's going to be uh, quite prudent to certainly keep tracking uh, the 50. And so we'll just um, hide this. Uh, sorry about the 50 there. Uh, the 20. Here we go. Hide that one start nice and tidy uh, so you know I think it's going to be quite prudent uh, for us to just really stay out of trouble and, and wait until we get this reading coming in today um, on, on for equities anyway for oil listen I've been saying it um, for uh, a couple of days 83's target but, uh, sorry I'll, I'll finish on equities before I move to oil all right the, the framework here on um, the Nasdaq is we do have a shelf above here 16 162s uh, and three quarters. You got the 50 EMA and the 20 EMA coming in into confluence here at the R1, uh, the 200 tracking down below. It all is seems quite tight here uh, for this market. I'm going to probably take the uh, 20 off with that one right now. Um, so yeah, look, the markets, uh, the dip seems to have been bought here so far. Um, you know, key levels from my daily charts here 16,000 so it's just above and uh, that has been a fantastic level to take some risk off of uh, certainly in Q4 last year um, but here's the area down the bottom where we've been bid off of and uh, to give you an idea of what that area is back here on the daily and it's this range um, put in down the bottom here um, the Nice little area, the highs from the 13th, 14th July, um, putting in the bottom. And then the top of the range is sort of like confluence of the highs here in the 5th, 6th of um, August and around like, you know, September here. So lovely area. I had this drawn. I, ha I, won't, I won't hear that I'm a Monday morning referee in this. I did have this drawn at the time. I did have this drawn at the time. Uh, so... Uh, lovely area there for support may well yeah maybe maybe i had this drawn prior uh but certainly on the dow we've picked some nice levels like this uh look at the market really it looks like a bit up to sixteen thousand. obviously if we come out with inflation coming above seven percent the projection seven percent uh, i think uh, we may just have a short-lived bid and a little bit of a little bit of a, a flat session actually um, I, don't, I don't really know what we should be doing with above uh, above 7%, probably a little bit up and then offer down up to 16,000. That's the NASDAQ for today. Uh, the SPOOs, 
really all these equities I, I would say are just projecting now for further upside it will be amazing if we get a miss on the seven percent reading all right gold meanwhile is making hay while the sun shines you see gold here on the weekly bar chart really trying to put in a floor from last week 1782s is being put in as the floor it looks like we're headed 1839s in this area of resistance above you can see that quite clearly here multiple weeks of excess into these highs so i'm just kind of tracking that area where there's a lot of trouble for these markets uh, or this market to come into any uh, strength into that which i think we will get um, on a higher than projected inflation if we get a seven percent or above probably just above seven percent i think you're going to see us trade 1854s quite easily um, within this week on gold it has been tied quite tightly to equities i will say just seeing cable actually this morning popping its head over 36.13s was good resistance now support confident with pivot um let's see i'm not really tracking this but i think if you see Bo bojo um take the resignation that he's been handed uh you know i think paul's saying that people mainly do want him to resign um and a lot of his ministers saying that's never going to happen well I don't know. I don't know when the when the public are throwing rotten tomatoes at you. Maybe it is time for Bojo to uh, exit stage left. Uh, but anyway, oil. Uh, well, I don't even need to look at this on the um, on the on the sixty minutes. Really, there is only one chart. It's the weekly chart here. <coughs> Excuse me. Target eighty threes up. And if you ask me, it's actually eighty six eighties. Daniel Jurgen. An IHS crew, they're marking this one up 107 spot 74. I looked at that level uh, yesterday, so uh, that's a massive line in the sand level, and it's easy to see why they're they're targeting that as the key uh, significant resistance on the upside. Uh, Joe Biden, of course, is now sweating it. Um, the in the White House, they're going, hold on a second, we're above where we released the SPR uh, out of the oil reserves. Uh, gas prices are going to go up for people at the pumps here. Uh, will we release more? He is def Joe Biden is definitely not going to have another coordinated release out of the uh, SPR. You can bet your your you can bet your house on that one. So with that, um, you know we're, we got to go higher on oil. A lovely day yesterday, three point two percent finished on the up. All right, so keep an eye out for uh, one thirty today for the cpi out of the us uh, by far the biggest event this week to trade and uh, be careful out there please do hit the like and subscribe button in the youtube channel and i'll talk to you tomorrow cheers